Hi everyone, this is Zira from Latility, because there are many of you who wants to hear my voice, so on my next Latility videos, I will make an audio explanation with my voice. Today, in this Adobe Illustrator tutorial, we're gonna make a line wave effect using Mesh tool. Okay, let's get started. First of all, we must make a new document, by click file on menu bar, then select new. On the new document panel, set the name whatever you like. For unit I choose pixels. On document width I set it with 1280 pixel and height with 720 pixel, and the rest I leave it as default, and then click create. On the layer panel over here, I prefer to make a new layer, first layer for the background, and second layer for the design that we want to make, rename it so we can easily to manage. If your layer panel didn't show up, you can activate it by click window on menu bar, and select layer, or press F7 for shortcut. I would like to create a background first, so, don't forget to select the background layer, because we're gonna make our background on this layer. For the background, use the rectangle tool, or press M on the keyboard. Don't forget to set the stroke to none and bring the fill box to the top of the stroke. Then draw a box following the size of the artboard. Select the gradient panel over here. If you don't have it just go to the window on menu bar, and select gradient. Click the gradient point, and change the color of the first gradient slider, by double clicking the point icon of gradient slider over here and the swatches will be appear. This time, I want to create a different color than the colors that already exist in swatches. To create a new color, click on icon that looks like a palette over here to bring up the color panel. In this case, only black and white color, or grayscale will be appear. So, to bring more color setting, just go to option icon here and select one of them like grayscale, RGB, HSB, CMYK, and WebSafe RGB. I prefer to use the RGB color. For the first color, I set to R, 43, G, 34, and B, 59. And for the second color, just follow the same step of the first one. Set the value R, 28, G, 53, B, 83. And don't forget to set the gradient type, to radial. If we look at the gradient, it looks too dark in the edge area, so, we have to adjust it, by click the gradient tool, and shifting the outer slider to point out, until the gradient color looks smooth. For the last step, just lock the background on the layer panel, so the background layer cannot be edited. Now, for the line wave effect. Just click the second layer that we have create earlier to activate it. First step. Create horizontal line with line segment tool, or press backslash on the keyboard. And don't forget to set stroke to white color, and fill to none. Duplicate the line that we have create with press alternate of key on Windows, or option key on Mac, and drag the line down. Then press Ctrl and D on Windows, or Command and D on Mac to transform again. Repeat this process, until the duplicated lines are fill the artboard. On this technique, we are able to create a separate lines. But this time, we gonna duplicate the line, with automatically way, for more easier to manage. To do that, select the line, and go to the effect on menu bar. Distort and transform, and select transform. On the transform effect panel, we have to check the preview, 
so we can see the transform affected the line, because we want to duplicate the line vertically, so set the vertical move to 10 pixel and the number of copies to 72, leave the rest of setting as default and click OK. On this duplicate way, we can see that the line not exactly duplicated. But we just create the effect, that the line looks like duplicated. So if we click the line, only exactly one line on the artboard, and the other line it just the mirror of the line that we have created. To see what happened here, just go to appearance panel. Or, if you don't have it, just go to window on menu bar, and select the appearance on the appearance panel. In this panel, we can see the information effect about the line, what we can see here, is the line have a one point stroke, the fill is none, and there is information about transform effect that we have applied before. Because, we have applied an effect on the line, so we able to edit the transform, if it has to, just click the transform effect, and the transform effect panel will be appear, and the setting will be the same with what we have set before. To change it, just set the number, and the transform will be adapted with the new settings. Just click cancel to leave it, and move to the next step. For the next step, we will create a perspective effect. Just go to the object on menu bar. Envelope distort. And select, make with mesh. Then click OK. And what we got here, is a new mesh effect applied to the line. To edit this mesh, we have to use direct selection tool. Just select the one of the anchor point on that mesh, and just move it around. Here, we can see the anchor point will be affected to the line and create perspective look. But in this tutorial, we only apply one row and one horizontal mesh, to create another perspective look. With direct selection tool, select the anchor point on the left top corner, and move the vertical handle to the top until the handle almost touch the anchor point. Do the same way, to the right top corner of the anchor point. What we got here, is that the top line have a close distance than the bottom line. Next, we have to make it more or less distance. To do that, select the two top anchor point and move it down to the center of artboard. Then, we will apply the effect like random wave. With object still selected, select the mesh tool to apply another anchor point. I prefer to create the first anchor point on the middle of object because it make it easier for me to determine another anchor point. In this tutorial, I'm just create 4 vertical anchor points and 2 horizontal anchor points. Go back to direct selection tool, and play around with anchor points and the handle, don't forget to play with the handle. I speed up this step because we just create the wave effect depending on our way to create what the wave effect looks like. Now we can add colors to the line for more interesting look, but before we add colors to the line, we have to know that our object is not exactly a lines, but only one line that we have create on the first step, and that line, affected by three effects that we have to create to achieve that wave look so we cannot apply any color to our object. Because our object is not lines, we have to change our object to lines. To do that, we have to expand our object. Just go to object menu, and select expand. On the expand panel, make sure the object and fill is checked, and click OK. Now, our object is totally turn into many separate lines on one group. This time, we able to set the stroke with any color we want. Remember, because the object are lines, so we must applying color into stroke, not to to the fill. For the color, 
I use gradient color for more interesting wave look. Set the first gradient color to R, 175, G, 23, B, 74, and for the second color to R, 236, G, 118, B, 128. Next, set the type to liner, and the angle to 90 degrees. The important thing to remember, is that the gradient type must be linear, and the angle of gradient must be 90 degrees. Because if it isn't, the gradient will have different effect applied to our object. And here we are, the line wave effect is perfectly done. Now, before I ended this video, this is just one of technical process to create some design stuff, you can use one of that technique, or you can combine with another technique to create more creative design stuff. Finally, if this video is very useful, please subscribe, like, or share this video to help this channel grow, or if you have questions or else, you can comment below. Thank you for watching.